You mentioned that you had a previous C-section at 31 weeks because you had twins. Congratulations on them. Um, but you have a question about the, the type of incision you had and the doctor's reasoning for telling you that you have to have repeat C-sections in the future forevermore. Generally speaking, when a woman has a C-section, a horizontal incision is made on her skin right above the pubic hairline. It's usually about this long and it heals nicely. And about a year later, you can barely tell it's there. It's just a faint little scar. But the most important incision that the doctor is concerned about is the incision made on the uterus when they deliver the baby or in your case, babies. The uterus is a big muscle and the muscle fibers run vertically. And so the incision on the uterus is also made horizontally on the lower uterine segment. And this helps reduce the chance that in future pregnancies, labors, deliveries, that the, the uterus will rupture. Think of making an incision on the uterus, stitching it up, it heals nicely, but it is going to be a weak point forevermore. And similar to if I made an incision down my bicep and stitched it up and it healed, but then I started lifting super heavy weight, there's the potential for it to burst or rupture. And when a uterine rupture happens, it is potentially life-threatening to a mother and a baby. So this is the risk that exists for anyone who's attempting a vaginal birth after a C-section or a VBAC. Now, in your case, you mentioned that you had a classical incision, and this is where the incision on the uterus goes up and down. And so an incision that goes with the grain of the muscle fiber increases a woman's chance of having a uterine rupture. So for this reason, women who have classical incisions should not attempt a VBAC in the future. The risk is too high for her and her baby. So this is why your doctor is giving you this advice. And if you have more specific questions about it, you can talk with them and they can explain it in greater detail. If you have more specific questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.